Okay, pay attention to Blue 7. This is how the dirt map thing will work. Here we have the LPP frame, raw, uncleaned. You know, this is the dirty frame. This is the same frame after it, I cleaned it through PF Clean. Um, the colors look a little different, but actually they're the same. It's just the brightness and contrast that's different. So, anyway, here's how this works. First, copy the dirty frame and we put it on top of the clean frame. Now if we just go to difference now you'll see there are lots of differences. That's because the colors are different. What we want is only the dirt to be different. So the first thing we must do is match the colors. So take the color of the clean version and we match it on this one. And they should match perfectly because they're from the same source. And they do. So now when we go to difference, all you see is the dirt. So what we'll do is we'll select all, copy merged, paste it to a new layer. Then with that layer, we will invert it, and they have a rudimentary dirt map. However, uh, I think the dirt is not obvious enough. It's too grey. It should be more black in order for this to work properly. Um, so what we'll do is we will adjust the threshold. far or that happens but I think about 246 looks good okay so now we have our dirt map we need to make it into an alpha channel so we select all copy go to channels create an alpha channel and paste it in here there's our alpha channel I go back to the layers, we'll hide this, go back to this, and make it normal again. Now in order to test our new alpha channel, here's what we do. Go back to channels, control click to highlight everything that is black, which in this case is all of our dirt. You can see it's highlighted it beautifully. Uh, then we go to layer, layer mask, reveal selection, and that should reveal what's underneath the highlighted parts, which is our nice cleaned version. Boom! Dirt is gone. Look, this is the dirty, this is the clean. Really can't see much difference at all. So, the final step in this process is we go to here, to our alpha channel, and we copy it. We go back to our original frame, create a new alpha channel, paste in what it is and you can see all the dirt is highlighted in red that's our alpha channel and you just save that frame and that is now a raw LPP frame with a dirt map which this has to be repeated about 30,000 times for the whole reel but that can be fully automated uh, simply by first of all recording the actions that I just took up here uh, and then writing a JavaScript uh, Photoshop script which will loop through a folder full of files opening up both matching frames running these actions saving the original and moving on to the next one it would probably take uh, a few hours to write the script and maybe eight hours for the whole script to run maybe longer uh, but it would be very doable uh, the downside, of course, is this is not a magic bullet. It does require someone to go through the entire film and mark out all the dirt at least once. But after that, you have a dirt map. So that's pretty cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this.